How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're gonna talk about our yeast starters and we're gonna get more into the scientific part of it. We're gonna actually use math instead of just doing eh, eh, hey, and hoping that the yeast starter comes out right. We're gonna be using math to find out what our pitching rate is and we're gonna be using math to find out how big our yeast starter needs to be in liter. Also, link to the article that I'm referring to is down in the description if you want to read it instead of listening to me. Hey, I get tired of listening to myself too. <laughs> All right, to calculate your pitching rate, the first thing you need to know is whether or not you're going to make an ale or a lager. And for some reason, the calculation changes between an ale or a lager. If you're using an ale, you're going to want to use a 0.75, and if you're using a lager, 1.5. I'm not sure why for an ale it's 0.75 and for a lager, 1.5 but that's how it is so we'll take that number and we're going to multiply it by how big our wart or how big our batch is going to be in milliliters for our example we're going to have a five and a quarter gallon so in milliliters that's going to be 19,873 milliliters then we're going to multiply that by our specific gravity or our original gravity in the form of plato now Plato is just another unit of gravity reading that we can use. It's the same thing as our hydrometers, our refractometers. That number is just expressed in Plato. So you'll just have to go online and find the chart, find what your specific or original gravity is, and find what the answer is in Plato. For our specific gravity, we're using 1.048, and in Plato that equates to 11.9. For this example, we're gonna do an ale. So we're gonna multiply 0 0.75 times that by 19,873 times that by 11.9 in Plato. And that's gonna give us, on your calculator, it's gonna be in the thousand, but just know in your mind that it's gonna be 177 billion. And that is our pitching rate. So right there is the perfect pitching rate that we need for our beer. How much you can go over or how much you can go under, I don't know. But I do know that if you go over, you can get off flavored. If you go under, you can have off flavored. So with this calculation, you're just gonna get a better ballpark on specifically what your beer or batch needs in yeast. So just stick with the calculation and we'll go further. All right, so what type of yeast do we wanna do? Well, if you're doing liquid yeast, just make sure that you calculate how old your liquid yeast is because liquid yeast tend to die sooner than dry yeast. Dry yeast, if you keep it refrigerated, has a shelf life of, I don't know how much, but dry yeast, if you keep it refrigerated, only 4% of the yeast is going to slowly die off every year. Compare that to liquid yeast, which you can see right here, it dies off pretty rapidly. Within the first month, only 80% of the yeast is good. Within the second month, only 64% of the yeast is good. And by the time you hit the third month, almost half of the yeast is good. For most yeast packet, whether dry or liquid, it's gonna be about 100 billion cells. All right, so now that we know what our pitching rate is, and for our example, we're gonna say that our yeast is gonna be a liquid yeast, and it's gonna be one month old, so, it's only gonna have 80 billion yeast cells available for us to use. So now we're gonna find out how big of a starter do we need to make. Do we need to do one liter? Do we need to do two liters? Do we need to do three liters? Also, how many packets of yeast do I need? Is that one pack of 80 billion cells going to be enough for my brew? Or do I need to add two packets? Or do I need to add three packets? So to find out how big of a yeast starter that we need, we're gonna take the cells that we need, our goal, our pitching rate goal, 177, and we're gonna divide that by how many cells or yeast cells that we have, which is 80. And that's gonna give us 2.2, which is actually pretty good. That's where we wanna be. For home brewers, if you're, for home brewers, we wanna score around three or below. Anything that's higher, like in the fours or in the 3.5 or something, the volume of our yeast starter is going to be too big compared to our standard five gallon batch of beer that we're trying to brew. If you're brewing 
10 or 15 gallon of beer, then maybe this doesn't apply to you and maybe you can go for those, uh, those larger numbers. For now, I'm keeping this in the mind frame of a home brewer, a five gallon bucket. So if 177 divided by 80, 2.2, that's good. Now, if we look at this chart, if we see where the two is on the Y axis, we go over it on to the X axis until we run into 50. Now, as far as these numbers are concerned, I don't fully understand it. Just know that our 2.2, that's our growth rate. And based on that, we find out what the number on the X axis, X -axis is. So we're gonna take the 80 billion cells that we have and we're gonna divide that by 50. And that's gonna give us 1.6 liters. And that is how big our yeast starter is gonna to have to be. So to recap, for this beer, we need 177 billion cells, our yeast packet of 80 billion cells, and a 1.6 liter volume for our five and a quarter gallon beer will be perfect for our beer. So I'm gonna give you another example. This time our batch is gonna be the same. Five and a quarter gallon, 19,873. Our specific gravity is gonna be the same too, 1.048, which is gonna be 11.9 Plato. The only difference is I'm gonna switch the yeast. We're going from an ale yeast to a lager yeast. So that calculation will be 1.5 times 19,873 multiplied by 11.9, and that's gonna give us 354 billion. And that's gonna be our new pitching rate. Again, 80 billion cells. So now we're gonna divide our pitching rate by how many cells we have. So 354, divide that by 80, it's a 4.4. Now that is too high, like we talked about. And the reason why that's too high is that's the growth rate. And if we look on this chart, our estimated our estimated yeast starter is gonna to have to be 10 liters, which is way too big. So we need to add in our second packet of yeast. Again, we're gonna say it's gonna be 80, so that's gonna be 160. So we're gonna have 354, divide that by 60, which equals 2.2. So we go back to our scale, 2.2, that's around 50. So we're gonna take the yeast that we have, divide that by 50. So 160 divided by 50, equal to a 3.2 liter. Now that could be a lot for some people. It could be, it could not be. If it is too much, just simply add another packet of yeast. So now we're gonna, our pitching rate will be 354. Divide that by our three packets of yeast, which is gonna total out to 240, which is gonna give us a 1.4 pitching rate. And we go back to the scale, that's going to give us about 100. So we'll take the yeast that we have, 240, divide that by 100, which equals 2.4 liters. So just by adding one pack, we went from a yeast starter of 3.2 liters to 2.4 liters, simply by adding one more extra pack. So depending on your system, your style of brewing, it could be beneficial to buy three packs or it could be beneficial to buy two packs. But with this calculation, you know exactly how big your yeast starter is going to be. And both of those liters with the appropriate amount of yeast packet is going to give you the 354 billion yeast cells. So, I know that was a lot. I feel like I just shot fire very quickly at you. Um, so I apologize, but again, just remember if you need to go back on what I said, you can, or if you just want to read it yourself, because maybe I didn't explain. Ah! <laughs> a 20, 128 gigabyte card got full on me, just like that. Mm. But anyway, if you have any questions, just remember that the link to the article is down below from Bruce Smith. That article was very helpful. It laid out everything very clearly. Even I could understand it. If I can understand it, I know you can understand it. Hey, I just noticed that we just broke 10 subscribers. 
we are actually at 12 now and man i thank y'all that really does mean a lot to me and i appreciate that i'm able to give back and teach y'all something and help y'all out in the brewing process because i'm also learning myself so thank you so much i really appreciate it and have a good life have a good life have a good day <laughs>